how do you know if your max allowable offer is too high and how do you know if it's too low? How do you balance that? Yeah, constant communication with your disposition. So uh, myself and Carlo, we set up some time every single week to uh, go over the deals that we currently have in the pipeline. If we're going to terminate a property, we got to give each other like good feedback. Uh, typically, it comes from him, uh, the feedback why it's being terminated. And, uh, you know, that feedback is relayed from our investors and so forth. People that have been giving us like on the ground um, advice on the property and information on, you know, what their uh, thoughts were on the property. Maybe, maybe, you know, we got it too high of a price. Uh, Maybe our our ARV was off. Uh, Maybe it needed too many repairs and repairs is another thing that has thrown a wrench. And I think a lot of deals uh, this year specifically um, because of the building costs and uh, some of the natural disasters in our, our uh, areas of operation. Welcome to the Virtual Real Estate Investing Podcast presented by Grayline Investments, where we talk about how to find, fund, and finish deals from anywhere in the world. 